We have always used other people's money to fund our deals. Do you? I think it's important that you remember that you don't have to have your own money to be successful as a real estate investor. The most common thing we hear is, hey, I'd love to do that, but I just don't have the money. When Ever and I got started, we were $80,000 in credit card debt and did not have any money to our name. Living in a condo, sleeping on an air mattress with a hole in it, it was not a great time in our lives. We really were pretty broke. But we found that other people would be willing to loan us money on houses because they got a return as well. They didn't give it to us for free. We have to pay a significant amount of money and interest on that. But you know what? It's a win-win. So when you learn that you don't have to have your own money to fund your deals, you can do more. If, you, if you're somebody who says, oh, I'm afraid of debt, I will not take any debt, then you'll never grow. The only way to really grow and to build a massive business or to just be able to buy a lot of houses is to be able to take on debt and be okay with that. It's good debt, it's not bad debt, it's good debt to go out and buy real estate or income producing properties or house you're gonna flip, then you flip them, you pay off your debt, and you put a profit back in your pocket. That's how you do it. So remember, we still, to this day, use other people's money to fund our renovations, and we encourage you to go out and do the same thing. Leverage money so you can leverage time, so you can actually have the life that you dream of.